as China's Congress and its advisory body meet this week, Tibetans rally around the 54th anniversary of the Tibetan uprising. As self immolations against Chinese rule continue to be reported, some are urging the new Chinese leader Xi Jinping to make changes. Sunday marked the 54th anniversary since the Tibetan uprising in Lhasa, Tibet. It failed to dispel the communist regime's presence in the Tibetan region and the Dalai Lama was forced to flee in India. Tibetans worldwide marked the anniversary and protested China's repressive policies towards Tibet. In New York, thousands rallied in front of the United Nations. These spirit groups joined the rally in support of Tibetan rights. This isn't just a disaster for Tibetans, but for the whole of humanity. Nothing like this has happened before. More than 100 Tibetans have given up their lives. Against the communist dictatorship regime, the whole world has to unite and work towards democratizing China. Ahead of the anniversary, the head of Tibet's government in exile, Lobsang Sangay, dedicated the day to those who have self-immolated. The American representative of the Dalai Lama said that Tibetans weren't the only victims of communist suppression. No, there are other nationalities, including Xinjiang uh, uh, and in, in Mongolia, as well as people in mainland China who have been suppressed for decades together, and their fundamental freedoms are being totally kind of, uh, you know, suppressed. So in that way, I think this could be an opportunity for Xi Jinping to bring about some positive changes and development inside, you know, inside China. Sunday's protest happened as the Chinese regime prepares to finalize its new set of leaders. Xi Jinping will take over as the head of government. Yang Jianli says cases like Tibet are what will threaten the Chinese regime if it doesn't change. She needs to realize the disastrous nature of the government's previous policies. The crimes of the Communist Party may not be on him yet, but if he drags on, they will be. When the people really unite, the regime may disappear one day. She needs to realize this crisis. Since 2009, more than 100 Tibetans have self-immolated in protest of brutal Chinese policies. On Sunday, a Tibetan street vendor in India tried to do the same during an anniversary parade in Dharamsala. The boy was prevented from setting himself on fire after he drunk and douses himself in gasoline. The boy is recovering at a hospital.